Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are just joining, welcome, welcome. I'm Jenny and I usually do K-beauty makeup reviews as well as skincare. So if you are checking this video out, you are a makeup addict just like me. And today guys, I'll be reviewing the most popular and my ever favorite Roman Zero Velvet Tint. But this time around, I'm actually reviewing their Fall and Winter Edition um, shade. So basically they released this uh, four new shades last 2020 fall winter season and guys I couldn't resist because look at the colors of this. It's just the packaging but guys I am already obsessed. I saw the photos and I know I have to get it because it's really pretty. These are the shades that I usually go for like very autumn, very muted type of colors. So um, I went ahead and get this so that I could share with you guys the swatches and because I'm just obsessed with these colors. So if you guys are interested to find out what these colors look like, just keep on watching. Number 18, Petal Tassel. This is the gradient or blur look. This is the full on lip. Number 19, Earl Grey Shawl. This is the blurred or gradient lip look. This is the full on lip. Number 20, Berry Knit. This is the gradient or blurred look. This is the full on lip. Number 21, Villain Vest. This is the gradient or blurred look. This is the full on lip. So guys, those are all the four new shades that Roman released for the Zero Velvet Tint and it's the Fall and Winter 2020 edition. As, and as you guys can really see from all the shades that I showed you, it's so gorgeous. It's like 
all the type of shades that you can actually wear during colder season and autumn and all those type of feels basically i really like the colors of it most especially the number 18 and 19 i think those are the type of shades that i can actually wear every day the number 20 and 21 although they're really gorgeous it's not something that i could actually wear every day i feel like it's a very statement lip look it's, it has that strong color although it's muted it has that strong um look so i think i could only wear it when there's party or there's a special occasion but definitely the number 18 and 19 are my favorite um i do notice though that i think one of the shades i think it's either 19 or 20 looks kind of similar from the first edition color i think it's number five witty i could be wrong but I do feel that it's quite similar when I was swatching it. And I remember how good Zero Velvet Tint, because I haven't been using Zero Velvet Tint for quite a while. I've been trying out a lot of different products, as well as, you know, because it's COVID quarantine, you just have to stay home. I haven't been using a lot of lip product. And when I was swatching this, I remember how good it was. It's really good. It's so comfortable in the lips and it's just, it just looks nice. You, you can really tell that it kind of gives you that I don't know like classy kind of makeup look anyway enough blabbing if you guys are interested to find out about my thoughts about the products i've done a review like long time ago about my thoughts about this specific product as well as swatches for the first edition color i'll put a link somewhere up here for you guys to check out that video but for this video um unfortunately i'm just doing a swatch because I've done a review of this already. Anyway, I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you do, hit the like and hit subscribe. And guys, I will definitely speak to you in the next one. Bye.